This is a very quick demonstration of some of the latest Puppet 4 functionality that I've added into Foreman's Cafe library. Some of this isn't committed yet, it's about to be submitted. Uh, but what I've got is a simple project, a gem file with Cafe pointing to, to the latest changes, Puppet and Puppet strings, uh, which parses uh, documentation in Puppet modules. So I'm going to create a quick modules directory and I'm going to clone into that uh, the Puppet Labs NTP module. And I'm going to install stdlib. Let's put it in the right place. I'll have a quick look at the NTP module. The documentation I've added to it is in yard format, which uh, Puppet Strings understands. So if we look at uh, the init manifest, we can see appram directives for every parameter that the class takes. And it's also got Puppet 4 data types, including some extensions. It's got custom types of its own and it references stdlib as well. I'll quickly install the bundle. And then uh, CAFO has a CAFO phi binary that will do the initial setup. So we've got config files. If we create an answers file which lists all of the modules we, uh, we've got configured, so we've just got an NTP module and we'll enable it by default. That ought to be ready to run. So if we do bundle exec bin slash cafe configure, this script is your entry point for the installer. It's your form and installer binary. And if we run help now, Cafe will run puppet strings, it will parse the NTP module, the NTP class, bring back a list of parameters, all of the parameters that it supports, and it will bring in the default values. So we can here see here, we can see here a whole load of parameters that the NTP module exposes. On the right, you can see what's listed as the current value, the default value, uh, which is brought in from a module. Now, Puppet Labs NTP has data in the module, in this data subdirectory. And so, for example, if I look at the Fedora one, I'm on the Fedora laptop, we can see the NTP servers that are specific to Fedora. And this is a higher uh, set of data files. If we go back up to the parameters that CAF has found, NTP, NTP servers, here we are. We've actually got the defaults from the data directory in the NTP module. So we've got the Fedora specifics because I'm running on Fedora. So if we go back to running this, all of these can be changed either with command line arguments to the installer or it can be changed from this interactive menu. It is a bit slow on a production installation you normally have a cache enabled. So we can change all of these settings here. Oops. 36, that lists all of different uh, servers we've got. If we go back to the main menu, if I can remember how. 56, and we run the installer. Actually, <laughs> let's do that with no op mode. So no op and verbose, verbose mode. This will show all of the changes that it will be making uh, if it were run for real. This is CAFO booting up. Then it's going to be running puppet apply using all of the parameter values that it's calculated and using any changes that the user's supplied on top. And this is the file here, etcntp.conf. And it's got all of the servers. So that's using the NTP module, a very standard module with only one change to add for documentation. We've got Puppet 4 style, Puppet strings style uh, param documentation. We've got Puppet 4 data types, booleans, stdlib types, optional types, all sorts uh, in there. And uh, third, which is the new part, of a very new part, is the data in the module. So this has got common data, it's got OS data, 
and all of that's being interpreted by CAFO. So that's support for the very latest of Puppet 4's module writing features, so you can create your own installers trivially using Puppet 4 modules.